welcome to the mat and to my July workout, which is Simple Summer Flow. So I think now that the weather is getting nicer, we're allowed out a bit more, we've got a few more freedoms back, um, we don't have, maybe have as much time inside to be doing our at-home workouts, but you want to keep something going over the summer so we don't lose all that good work that we've done over the past few months. So this one is just going to be a short routine. It's about, going to be about 20 minutes. It's going to be full body um, and it's going to be quite fast flowing. So we just get through that work on the mat, know that we feel strong, we feel tension free um, and that we're ready to get outside and enjoy the summer. Okay, so we're going to start with our feet hip bone distance apart and we're just going to inhale as we breathe up, in, and then we're just going to bend the knees and relax down. So inhale, and then relax, <laughs> exhale, in, in, and relax down, and one more, and relax down. <laughs> Okay, so now staying in that hip bone distance apart, we're going to take our right arm up to our ear. We're going to stretch over to the side. Then I want you to flex forward towards that left foot. And we're going to roll down the left hand side. Okay, so keeping those roll down principles, abs, pelvis high as long as we can, come to the center. And then abs lift us back up to standing. Okay, so now the left side, in, stretching over, flexing forward, rolling down the right hand side, coming to the center, and letting our abs lift us back up, head is last to come back. Okay, let's do one more either side. So really stretching up and over, I think it always feels really nice to stretch the side, and then flex forward, Keep that pelvis high and let it tip forward, running down and coming back up. And last one. Rolling down. And lifting back up. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to come to some squat backs now. So like we're sitting back into a chair. So we're going to come down, our arms are parallel to the mat. And then as we lift up, our hands are pushing back. So you'll feel the light um, tension in the triceps and across the chest. Okay, so we're going to do eight like that. So eight, seven, good. So squeeze that imaginary ball between the inner thighs making sure your weight is even in the feet, if anything more towards the heels and the toes, but we don't want to be scrunching those toes. Good, so the knees shouldn't come in front of the toes either. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna add in a leg extension in the back, so come down and then we extend the leg. Okay, so it's not gonna lift far, because if you try and lift it far, we go into the lower back. We don't wanna hinge forward. We just wanna lift it till you feel that contraction in the glute and the hamstring, and then down. So we do alternate for eight, seven, six, five, keep pushing those arms back, four, three, two, and one. Good, so working the triceps, the glutes, the hamstrings, leg strength, all in one exercise. Okay, coming down to the end of the mat now, we're gonna roll down to a plank position. So we inhale to repair, exhale, nod to the chin to the chest, keep that pelvis high, when it can't go any further, tip over the pelvis. Come down, walking out into a plank position. Okay, if this is too much for you, drop the knees. Okay, and hold here in a plank. If not, we're pushing through those hands, our back is long, our neck is long, eye gaze to the end of the mat. 
we're just going to push forward on the toes and then back into the heels so just working on a little bit of shoulder strength okay but those abs have to be turned on to support us let's do three two and one now drop the knees so you're either going to come into a box position we're going to do some tricep dips or you're going to take the knees back and we're going to do our tricep dips so we're just flexing at the elbow bend the elbow push straight up so let's do 10. <sighs> inhale down exhale up eight <sighs> seven <sighs> six <sighs> five four three two and one just push back widen the knees and then circle the wrists if you had any tension there and then we're gonna come and lie on our tummy okay so when we're lying in this prone position we're gonna take our arms long and our legs long our heels are slightly in Okay, our neck is in a nice alignment, so we're just gazing down onto the mat. Glutes and hamstrings are pulling down, abs are lifted to support the lower back. We're going to lift the right leg and the left arm and lower. Okay, so we want to think of length. Lengthen, 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 and then it will lift and down. So we're not coming too high. We're not hurting the lower back. We're strengthening all the muscles on that posterior chain of the body. <sighs> Keep breathing. Good. Let's do two more either side. Think length, making sure that it's the glute and hamstring that are lifting the leg and the arm is coming from the shoulder. Last one either side. Okay, so now we're gonna lift the legs off, lift the arms off, and we're gonna go for a swim. So we inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. For six, five, four, three, two, one. And rest down, just take your head to one side, rock the pelvis, loosen it off. And our hands are coming in front of our forehead. We're going to rest the forehead on the back of the hands. Knees are coming the width of the mat and our heels are together for our heel squeeze exercise. So we're going to squeeze the heels as tightly together as we can using those glutes and then release. Squeeze. Release. Okay, no cheating. I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna come into your lounge and try and pull those heels apart. And I won't be able to. Let's work those glutes. Four. Three more. Last two. And last one. And then just push back up. Let's just do a shell stretch. So we're going to just round over that imaginary ball just to get some flexion after we were in an extension. Good. Then coming to the front of your mat, cross your ankles, and we're going to lie down onto our back. These are holding on behind the thighs and roll down with control. Oh. Okay. That was a, a frantic start to the workout. Got lots of exercises in there in just uh, eight minutes. So we're doing good. Okay, so we're gonna go into just a few hip rolls. Just make sure that back's nice and warmed up because just because hip rolls are so good for us, we definitely need to keep those going during the summer. So we inhale to repair, exhale, tip the pelvis towards the rib cage, peeling the spine off the mat, making sure those ribs are staying down. Okay, pause at the top, imaginary ball between those th inner thighs, weight even through the feet, and we're going to line from the shoulder to the kneecap, arms along. 
take an inhale here and then exhale rolling down from as high up in the neck as you can to get as much movement as we can out of the spine and release completely at the bottom let's do two more okay try not to rush these let's get as much movement as we can keeping that back healthy is just so important for us and release and last one inhale try not to have any tension across the collarbone i know sometimes i catch myself tensing there but it's important to stay relaxed and down okay let's work some abs now <clears throat> so we're going to take our right knee to tabletop left knee to tabletop now hopefully you can stay in a neutral spine so keeping that pelvis nice and flat if that you feel a little bit of pulling take the legs down go into a slight imprint so we use the abdominals to tip the pelvis back into a more flatter back and then bring your legs up and that should give you a bit more support arms are coming onto a low diagonal a low v sorry palms facing the ceiling we're just going to let the knees and ankles go to one side but not collapse then use the obliques to bring them back so inhale over exhale up inhale exhale good this is a good one to get those obliques working and also to get some movement into that lower back okay if you wish now you can take one leg straight at the bottom bring it up bend or both legs so straighten bring them back to the top and bend two more either side whichever modification works for you okay and last one good and just hug those knees in just take the head to one side center other side center just in case we had any tension in that neck okay now the legs are going to come back to tabletop our arms are going overhead we're going to inhale arms come up and then exhale as we do a, an ab curl and then inhale as we come back down okay so eight like that inhale exhale so our ribs are folding underneath the pelvis for a really deep abdominal curl good making sure that head is supported in between the shoulders when you get to the top of the movement good if this is too much put your legs on the floor on the mat and just come up you're still working those abs really hard okay let's build that strength we're not trying to impress anybody we're doing this for ourselves to feel good and to feel strong and now I've lost count so let's do three more <laughs> and last two and last one good one more hug in and then we're going to take our legs long on the mat but the width of the mat okay i want you to take your right hand behind the head left arm is long we're going to bring the left leg up and we're going to take the right shoulder towards the knee and lower down with control so eight like that so it's kind of like a cross between scissors and obliques so we're getting a nice hamstring stretch and we're also working those obliques three if this is too much bend the knee five six seven and eight let's change sides <laughs> Okay, so come across low with control two so we're trying to get that shoulder to the knee not the elbow four 
five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, I really felt that. Okay, moving on to our roll up. Okay, so you know um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, there's a number of modifications. So we'll start with the full roll up and then I'll um, help out for anybody, anyone who needs a modification. So we're gonna inhale our arms to the ceiling. Exhale, push through those heels as we roll up and over the legs. I want you to come then come to vertical, hands to the chest. We rotate, extend, in, back, other side, rotate, extend in, back, arms along, and then we roll back down again. Okay, if you're good with that, keep going. If not, bend the knees. We're gonna inhale, to, uh, inhale arms to ceiling. Exhale, hold on behind those thighs, rolling up, and take the legs long, or keep them a little bit bent if you need to, to get into that vertical position. Rotate, extend, in, back. <sighs> and then hold on behind the thighs as you're rolling back down. Okay, so last one, inhale. Exhale up, over, rotate, extend, in, back. Okay, so let's go down for eight this time. So for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Whew. Felt that. Okay, back to those glutes. I'm gonna do a, a few shoulder bridge, but I want your feet together, ankles together, and knees together, okay, or as much as you can. Okay, arms along. We're just gonna pick the pelvis up, tap down. So we're not articulating now. It's as if our pelvis is on puppet strings, so lifting straight up and down, so for 10. Squeeze those glutes and hamstrings. Eight, seven, keep the ribs down, just lifting the pelvis. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, now take the feet to hip bone distance apart. Your Feet should be quite close into your bottom, just so you, you're nice and supported. We're going to lift the pelvis, take the right knee to tabletop, push through those arms. Just going to go halfway down and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Foot down, other side. Eight, seven. Six, it's a lot of work for that supporting glute. Three, two, one, and down. <sighs> Great job. Okay, let's, let's work those inner thighs now. So I want you to put your hands underneath your lower back. Okay, this is just gonna give us a little bit more support. Take the knees to tabletop, straighten the legs, point the toes. We're gonna take the legs out, with pointed feet, flex as we squeeze those inner thighs together. So for eight, seven, six, five, four, really squeeze them, create some resistance, two, and one. So now, heels together, toes turned out, we're gonna bend the knees, like this little froggy position, out, squeeze. So down, out, squeeze them together. Okay, so imagine we've got one of those Swiss balls in between our inner thighs and we're squeezing it together just to get the most out of this exercise. Yeah, we wanna make the most of our 20 minutes. Four, three, two, and one. Just hug in. And then hold on to the front of the shins. Rolling up. And we're going to come on to our side. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to come onto an elbow rested position. Okay, so we do not want to be slouching here. We want to push through that elbow, really feel a connection underneath our armpit on the underside so that shoulder is completely supported. Okay, our hips are stacked, knees are stacked, ankles are stacked. We're going to lift the leg and the knee at the same height, extend, bend, and down for eight. Keep pushing through that supporting elbow. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Now take the leg long. Arm is coming overhead. We're going to bring the elbow and knee together, really working that oblique and stretch for eight, seven, keep pushing through that supporting arm, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last one, it's a nasty one, sorry. Toe down, heel up, let's lower and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees in and let's do a nice book stretch after that nasty old last exercise. So hands on your ears, um, elbows bent. And we're just going to inhale and then exhale. Open the arms like a book as you rotate back, keeping those hips facing forward like headlights. And just relax into that stretch. And then close it down. And then let's just do one more. Let's just hold it here. Allow everything to relax. And close it down. Okay, so pushing up, and then let's just do a little counter stretch. And then take our feet round to the other side. Okay, so getting set up on this elbow, making sure we're nice and stable, no slouching, nothing in the neck, shoulders nice. Okay, my hips are stacked, knees are stacked, ankles are stacked. Open, extend, in, close it down. Two. Okay, so think length, lengthen that leg away. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, arm long arm long, leg long, arm overhead, sorry. Squeeze it in and extend. Seven, six, keep pushing through that supporting elbow. Five, four, working that oblique and the hip. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get it over with. Heel down, toe up. Lower and lift. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's always a killer, that one. It's good for those glutes, though, and the outer thigh. Let's come down into our book stretch now. Inhale, and then exhale, open. Getting that lovely rotation through the thoracic, which is so important for us to stay healthy. And it always feels nice to open that chest out because we're continually in flexion, just to open it out. Back, pushing up, and a quick counter stretch. Okay, and then final exercise. We're gonna come back into our four point kneeling, okay? So we're pushing through those hands. We want our toes tucked under. Our knees are under our hips, wrists are under the shoulders. We're just gonna lift those knees and hold here for five, 
four, three, two, one. Step back into plank, five, four, three, two, one. And hike those hips up and give kind of like a yoga down stretch or down dog. Heels towards the mat. Just pedal those feet out. It feels nice to be in this inverted position. Okay, and then I want you to walk the feet towards the hands. Bend your knees if, if you need to. Oop, not fall over. And then inhale and rolling back up to standing. And let's just do one nice deep breath in. So we inhale and then exhale. And you are done. Awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great July and I will see you back here on the mat very soon. Take care. Bye.